friend hello hello everybody welcome to my channel Aisha A where you are going to get the knowledge of a, a complete uh, guide about biology where you can crack your meat as well as the other competitive exams so this channel is basically for the biology knowledge and not only for the knowledge of preparing for any competitive exam but you should be aware of your you, your own body system right how does the body work uh, how we should be thankful to God for creating us in such an innovative, right? So, in the previous class, uh, in the previous video which I have given is the female reproductive structure, system and its function and working process. In this video, you will be able to learn about the uh, male reproductive system, parts of, male, parts of male reproductive system and its structure, function. So, uh, uh, don't skip the video, watch till the end so that you might uh, not miss any important information. And at the end of this video, we will be giving you the tips how to, especially for the males, it's only for the males, how to maintain their sperm count, what are the food, nutritional food which they can, uh, you know, inculcate in their day lifestyle so that their sperm count can be maintained. So, here we go with the uh, video just stay tuned and watch the video and please don't forget to give your valuable comments and do not forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel and uh, press the bell icon. Let us start with the posterior view of the male reproductive system which consists of a pair of uh, male gonads which is called as the testis and the duct this is called as the the duct or the sperm duct through which the sperm can travel from here and so that it can reach to the prostrate gland so this uh, includes the ducts includes vas effersenia epididymis uh, and the vas deferens epididymis is the outermost layer where the production of the sperm takes place and across the reproductive organ this also includes the seminal vesicle sem, seminal vesicles and the corpus gland prostrate gland urethra and the penis which are connected to the is uh, ejaculating duct that is the prostrate gland let us study how does how is the testis look like it is a singular so let us see how this testis actually look like this testis is a male reproductive organ which then each testis is oval in shape with an adult of 4 to 5 centimeter long and 10 to 12 grams in weight these testis are the extra abdominals they lies in loose fold of the skin called as the scrotum this is the outermost portion called as the scrotum that is lies in the uh, in joint region which is out of the uh, out of the body and at the base of the penis these cavity of scrotum is divided into two compartments by a muscular the, you can see here these two compartments which are divided by a muscular septum and one testis lies in each compartment and it is suspended with the or covered with the scrotum by a spermatic Cord. These are, now this is the cross section of the penis. Now these each two, as you can see, the structure of the testis. Each testis is divided into nearly 200 to 300 compartment called as the uh, lob lobules lobules and each lobules it contains seminiferous uh, tubules and test. Uh, intestinal cells that means the cells which are responsible for the production of the sperm now these seminiferous tubules are one to three uh, higher tightly collide and seminiferous tubules in each this tubules in each this tubule there are uh, germinal epithelium the cells of germinal epithelium that means they are responsible for the production of spermatogenia which helps in dividing the mitosis and give rise to the haploid sperm and this process of uh, sperm formation is called as the is spermatogenesis the process of producing the or formation of sperm is called as the spermatogenesis the developing sperm are attached to a large st stereol cells they nourish they help in nourishing and protecting the developing sperm that means it, it makes sure that the 
sperms are highly protected and they are responsible also for the release of sex hormones in males such as testosterone and regulate the maintenance of primary and secondary sexual characters mostly in the males is it clear the temporary regulation of scrotum act as a thermoregulator the scrotum help in regulating the temperature and make sure that the 2 to 3 degree is lower than the body temperature it make sure that the body compared to the body temperature the 2 to 3 degree difference will be there in order to help provide the suitable temperature for the maturation of the sperm in the scrotum now whenever there is a uh, there is a temperature is hot the skin of the scrotum loses it and the testes start hanging out from the body when it is cool the skin of the scrotum contract and becomes wrinkled and draw the testes close to the penis cavity being close to the body that is near to the testes which make them to remain calm i hope you got this point the main function of this testes is nothing but the help in the production of sperm and secretion of male sex hormones so under this the, uh, the that is the main two functions which is performed by the testes next is the vas vas efferts Efferschenia. The fine tubules called vas efferschenia or the efferent tubules arise from the testes and conduct spermato spermatids that is into epididymis. That is the number varies from around twelve to fourteen. Now epididymis is formed about six meter long, tightly collied. This is six meter long and tightly collied. covering along with the collied along with a narrow tube enclosing the fibrous covering and it is lies at the top and the sides of the testis towards the sides of the testis and it is divided into three parts the first one is the head head is the this is the head this is the vas efferschenia and this is the middle ple middle place and this is uh, the function of epididymis this is the function of epididymis is none, nothing but it stores the sperm prior to the ejaculation before it is coming out of the body in some days it help in storing during which they get mature and become more functional and more motile motile means nothing but the movement now it is serve as a duct for the passage of sperm from the testis from the testis to from the testis to the vas deferens from here to from here and it also help in contributing the semen semen that is the seminal fluid which is stored here which help in protecting and providing the nourishment for the sperm next is the vas deferens right now the vast um, uh, difference is or the sperm duct this is the sperm duct or the vast difference uh, arise from the tail end this is from here it has been arised and it is moved at the end of the epididymis and enter the abdominal cavity and it also pass over the urinary bladder this is connected to the urinary bladder seeing the sperm from the urethra now this is the posterior view of the penis where the penis is the uh, uh, an organ in males which serve as to deposit sperm in the vagina of the female this help into uh, deposit the sperm in the vagina of the female it lies in just front of the scrotum just towards the sides of the scrotum it is in the central and it is cylindrical and muscular and spongy and highly vascular organ as it consists of prostrated gland this is the urinary bladder prostrate gland and then the the urethra through which the sperm releases out of the body now urethra it is a narrow tube like structure or tube like duct which help in passing the sperm through which the sperm can release it and it serve as a common passage for the flow of urine as well as the sperm the urine as well as the sperm releases the semen which consists of a millions of sperm are releases from the prostrate gland from there to the urethra and from here to the 
outer parts of the body now this uh, seminal vesicle fluid uh, forms about 60 percentage of this semen which contain fructose fructose it is a sugar component which actually provide nourishment to the uh, sperm during their journey through the female genetical tract until it is been traveled so this is very important you should know now this prostate gland is a bilobed structure or a tubular gland are present at the base of the urinary bladder it secrete a thin and a milky alkaline fluid into the urethra it forms up to 30 percentage of the semen Uh, these alkaline uh, or prostatic uh, uh, this alkaline or prostatic fl- fluid provide a protective environment for the sperm in the vagina of the female to keep that the sperm is alive and uh, help them in s- to swim and to locomote very easily till the target point they reached